Hey guys, Ezra here to show you how to make my favorite shishibo shape, the wheel. And I'm going to take one of my cubes right here, squeeze it so that we can see those three magnetic seams coming apart just a little bit, and stick a finger in there and peel it open just like so into the crown shape. Now I'm going to take the crown and I'm gonna flip it around so I see this section right here in the back. While I hold on to this crown shape right here, I'm going to pull it open and down into the star, and I'm gonna keep focusing on that piece, splitting it down the middle, just like so. See what I did there from the star? We're gonna take that piece and split it down the middle, open into this tab shape, just like so. So we have this kind of hexagonal piece right here with a flat rhombus outlined right like that. And that fits through our section right here. So the next trick is to make eight of those shapes. And now that we have all eight of our shapes in what we call the swan because of its presentation just like so, and we are going to take those pieces and we're gonna start with two of them, lining them up end to end just like this. And I'm going to take this tab right here and I'm going to put it right through this section of my first swan. So just like that, tab through it, touching out the back there, and we set those down. And the trick happens really in this third one, where we take our third piece and we put it right through there, except that it runs into the first one that we had in there. So what we really need to do is open that section up just like so, so that we have room like this for our tab to go behind our first cube and over that second one, just like so. And then we can close it all up into our kind of vertebrae shape here. They hold nice and tight together because they're woven and we keep that pattern going for all eight of them, okay? Over and under. I like to sort of keep that section open so that it stays just like so. Don't close the whole thing up. We just keep it going, lifting up that last piece over and under, over and under, over and under until we come to our last cube. Now all eight of them close up into that hive and you wanna make sure that we've got our tab at the very end and the point of our crown up at the other side and the rest of it holds together really strong. So now that we've got it all locked in, I'm going to keep my hands right here to keep the back of it supported. And I'm going to bring this end all the way around to meet this end right here. And I need to make this tab go all the way through the top of this crown, just like I have been doing the whole way around. And then I'm going to hook it behind this piece right here. And that's tricky to do. So it's okay if it takes you a couple tries, but we're just going to keep the cubes as loose as possible while tucking it through there. You see that piece poking out back there? Now, all we need to do is keep this one coming around. We've got this last tab. We put that point through it, and now we've got the whole thing woven, but it's looking pretty loose. So the trick here is to push in, not on the whole sides because that'll keep it in this shape, but we want to push in just in the middle, in that crease right there, okay? So if we push in right there, we should have our wheel. Hope that helps, guys. Have fun shape-shifting at home.